We are 17 days away from the grandest stage of the ball, WrestleMania. But tonight, State Farm Arena, Atlanta, Georgia, plays host to Saturday night's main event, a Raw and SmackDown production with major WrestleMania implications all throughout this evening. And coming up in your Saturday night main event, Matt Riddle's WrestleMania main event is on the line as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Austin Theory, who will challenge Randy Orton for the WWE Championship on WrestleMania Sunday. We will find out later tonight here in Atlanta. But the road to WrestleMania continues here on Saturday night's main event, and it's time to decide who will fight Pete Dunne on WrestleMania Saturday. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. We said tonight was gonna have major WrestleMania implications, and that kicks off right now. Pete Dunne, your Intercontinental Champion, will defend the gold in Tampa Bay, Florida on a WrestleMania Saturday. But who will be opposing him on the other side of the ring? We will find out right now as two Monday Night Raw superstars are set to clash for the first time ever. Both of them have been on a roll as of late. The New Day's Big E set to go one-on-one -on -one with the invincible Ilya Dragunov. Is a former Intercontinental decorated tag team champion in Big E set to go one-on-one -on -one with a former NXT United Kingdom champion. First time ever, this is gonna be one hell of a way to kick us off here tonight in Atlanta. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Well, the bruiserweight Pete Dunne, your current Intercontinental Champion, has held the gold during this second reign since December the 7th at Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden. He defeated Sheamus and Tommaso Ciampa on that night. He has since retained the gold and handed Karrion Cross his very first loss since returning to WWE back in the fall, just a few weeks ago at the Elimination Chamber. So who will be next to step up to the Bruiserweight? Pete Dunne recently successful on Monday Night Raw with a victory over NXT's Joe Gacy. The Intercontinental Champion has not been laying down for anybody. But will one of these men be the one to dethrone the Bruiserweight when the lights are on bright? Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th, at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Those two nights will be your next live premieres, both at 5 p.m. Eastern time as well. And as we mentioned, the Intercontinental Championship will be decided on WrestleMania Saturday. So it is time to find out. Kicking us off here on Saturday night's main event. Who is gonna battle Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Gold? Will it be Big E or will it be Ilya Dragunov? First time ever, let's get it going here in Atlanta. This is gonna be one hell of a night. Matt Riddle, Austin Theory battling it out for Riddle's Royal Rumble victory. And the chance to fight Randy Orton for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Also still to come tonight, a grudge match from Friday Night SmackDown and a Falls Count Anywhere Affair. Happy Corbin battles the strange and disturbing Dexter Loomis. All that and more tonight here at Atlanta State Farm Arena. Nice move by Dragon off there to take down the bigger competitor. First time these two men are ever locking horns, not just in a WWE, WWE ring, excuse me, but anywhere. Big E, a decorated tag team competitor throughout his career, but he is a former NXT champion, a former Intercontinental champion as well. Ilya Dragunov was the man to dethrone the 870-day reign of Imperium's Walter for the NXT United Kingdom Championship at one point as well. Right now, Big E using his strength on the smaller competitor. We just mentioned Ilya Dragunov, he defeated Walter for the NXT United Kingdom Championship, so he knows how to defeat the bigger competitors. As Big E tackles down off that slam dragon off there. Speaking of Walter, this past edition of Friday Night SmackDown, he defeated Tyler Bate in the main event. And the ring general will battle the almighty Bobby Lashley for the first time ever for the United States Championship on WrestleMania Sunday. What a matchup that is going to be. WrestleMania is taking starting to take shape, and both nights are looking to be incredible. If 
From what I'm hearing around the locker room, we got a couple of major announcements regarding WrestleMania still to come tonight here on Saturday night's main event. So stay tuned all throughout this broadcast from Atlanta, Georgia. Big E to the cover, but not watching the rope right there. Oh no. A little bit uncharacteristic for the big man. Off the top rope, drops the elbow on Dragunov. Any means necessary to move on to WrestleMania, though. But again, not watching the rope break. Got to drag Dragunov's feet away from the ropes. That was a costly misstep by Big E. Big E's tag team partners. Oh, nice counter by Dragunov. Big E's tag team partners, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day. We'll be battling Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic this coming Monday night on Raw in the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Of course, the winners are going to move on to WrestleMania Saturday to fight in the finals of that tournament. So, could be a big weekend at WrestleMania in Tampa. If Big E can win this match and the New Day can win their match on Raw, it could be a very New Day WrestleMania weekend. Big E getting back into this fight. Again, this is the first time these two men have ever stepped foot in the ring with each other. Whole new experience in there. Big E with a big time splash to Dragunov. And that may be all she wrote. Going to WrestleMania, not just yet as Elia Dragunov's able to muscle up the big man. Impressive kick out there, but Big E definitely doing some damage to his opponent. Oh, could be looking. Oh, wait a minute. Nice counter by Dragunov. Could be looking for the big ending, but Dragunov saw it coming. Using that bare knee to the skull of Big E. And this is where the invincible Dragunov's got to get back into this fight here. Who will battle Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Championship? Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay, Florida. WrestleMania Saturday, February 25th. Oh no, Big E, another slam to Dragunov. Big E really using his power to his advantage in this matchup. And he does it again with that pump handle, taking Ilya down to the canvas. He's a former Intercontinental Champion. He knows what it's like to hold that gold. He wants to do it again in his hometown of Tampa Bay. The only thing standing between that opportunity right now is Ilya Dragunov with an impressive chop by the Invincible One. Falls up with a senton there. Gonna throw any, everything in the kitchen sink at Big E to keep him down. And a nice lariat there by Dragunov. Got to keep his eye on the ball there. Dragunov trying to build some momentum, get this crown Atlanta behind him. And a takedown on the big man again. It'll be an awesome night here in Atlanta. State Farm Arena is rocking. This is your final live premiere before we get to WrestleMania. Saturday night's main event. Big E is down. And, oh, no, wait a minute. Dragunov going to head to the top rope. Big E did this earlier. Dragunov dropping a knee right to the heart of Big E. And will that do it to go to Mania? Not just yet. Those exposed knees of Ilya Dragunov gonna inflict more damage than anybody as he delivers one right to the Chrome Dome of Big E. Big E's not rocking knee pads either, but you see Dragunov's the only one utilizing that body part there. But Big E, look at this, striking with Dragunov. Dragunov definitely the heavier striker between these two, but Big E not afraid to throw some hands. Dragunov into the corner. Now Big E again. This is where he used the strength to his advantage. Sends Dragunov for a ride. Now splits the legs of the opponent. Falls it up with an elbow. Big E trying to get back into this. It started off really Big E heavy in the opening moments of this matchup. Dragunov had a little bit of a comeback there. Now we see Big E getting back. Dragunov now gets back into it. Who is going to get the upper hand and punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all in just 17 nights? It's a nice drop kick to the back by Dragunov, but he's got to take advantage while the big man's down. Big E went for a haymaker there. Dragunov avoids it. Look at this. Swinging hip breaker. Takes down Big E. And now back to the second rope. The Invincible goes for the knee, but Big E gets out of the way. And that may have cost Dragunov. The high-risk maneuver did not pay off. Power bomb by the New Day's big man. And that may be all she wrote for Dragunov in this matchup. Big E starting to unload on the Invincible. Goes back to that slam. It has worked throughout this matchup. Wait a minute. Small package by Ilya Dragunov. Almost stole the victory to go to WrestleMania, but not just yet. 
Close call there by the Invincible. Goes for that chop. Big E able to counter. Oh, no. There's a big power slam. And Big E could be looking for that big time splash for the second time in the match. Dead center of the ring. And that's going to be it. Big E is heading to his hometown. WrestleMania, not just yet as Dragunov gets the shoulder off the canvas. What a match to kick us off here from Atlanta. The Intercontinental Championship means so much to both of these competitors. Neither want to pass the opportunity up. Dragunov avoids the big ending again. Nice takedown. Fouls it up with a senton. A second gear here by the former NXT United Kingdom Champion but may have had a little too much gas right there. But oh, there's another counter by Dragunov. It's now or never. If Big E hits another one of those splashes or hits a big ending, there's no way Dragunov is gonna be able to scrape his body off the canvas. Big E being brought to his feet by the invincible Dragunov. There's a counter. And who's it gonna be? Pete Dunne's gonna be watching this match. Laser focus, trying to scout his potential opponents for WrestleMania Saturday on February 25th. And look at this, the ground and pound by Big E. Any means necessary to punch his ticket to the show of shows. But there's Dragunov. We have got a slugfest here in the opening bout. Atlanta's getting a good one for the Intercontinental Championship contendership. Back and forth we go, and I'll drag it off into the corner. State Farm Arena's rocking. Ilya, full steam ahead. And Big E, his lights may be knocked out for good. No, Big E gets the shoulder up, and the matchup rolls on another moment. What a fight. Big E is still down though, and Ilya Dragunov is going for the kill. Back in the corner, the invincible one, locked and loaded. Down goes the New Day's Big E again. Cover. And Dragunov is going to WrestleMania. That was one hell of a fight. And Pete Dunne, the bruiser weight, is going to have his hands full on WrestleMania Saturday an absolutely earned victory over the New Day's big man tonight and the former NXT United Kingdom champion, the invincible Ilya Dragunov is going to the show of shows. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov. Two of the United Kingdom's best will meet for the prestigious WWE Intercontinental Championship February 25th. Saturday night at WrestleMania. It is going to be the Bruiserweight versus the Invincible One. Ilya Dragunov earns the opportunity to fight Pete Dunne at the grandest stage of them all. Well, WrestleMania will be the hot topic all night long here in Atlanta, and somebody who's got a meeting with the Beast Incarnate on WrestleMania Saturday is here tonight, the Nigerian Giant, Omas. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds. Omos! Omos issued a WrestleMania Open Challenge in two weeks ago on Raw. It was accepted by the returning Beast Incarnate, the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. One-on-one -on -one with Omos for the first time ever, reinforced the ring in Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay, Florida. What a meeting that is gonna be come WrestleMania. But tonight, the Nigerian giant Omas gets a little warm up. 
but it ain't gonna be easy for Omos. He's going one-on-one -on -one with a former Hurt Business tag team partner and a man who's been making a lot of waves on Monday Night Raw. He's been coming up short when it comes to the win column, but impressive all the way through. Former Cruiserweight Champion and Tag Team Champion Cedric Alexander looking to topple the big man here tonight. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander! Well, ever since the Hurt Business fell apart back in November in the WWE Draft, this man, Cedric Alexander, has been trying to find his own way again on Monday Night Raw. He's come up short in the win column, as we mentioned, but he has pushed Rob Van Dam to the limit, not once, but twice. Just recently on Raw, he went one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, again coming up short, but what a performance it was for Cedric Alexander. So tonight, a man he knows well, the Nigerian giant Omos, a man he once stood side by side with for a few months in the Hurt Business. Now they are on opposite sides of the ring. Cedric's trying to prove himself all over again. And the Nigerian giant Omos looking to build momentum towards WrestleMania. This is obviously going to be a contrast of styles here. Cedric Alexander, a high flyer. Omos, this absolute beast of a human being. Nigerian giant using his strength and power there, ragdolling Cedric Alexander to the lariat. I don't know how Cedric is going to be able to topple this man tonight, but he can't count out a man who was once the cruiserweight champion here in the WWE. And was once a tag team champion as well. The age of Alexander is what Cedric is trying to rise from the ashes. I don't know if it'll be tonight, but I'm sure Cedric's day is going to come here in the WWE. As Omos goes for the cover, Cedric gets the shoulder up. And we've seen the man who we just saw in the ring, Big E, Pull out a victory over Omos a few months ago, but that's very few and far between. You see Omos's shoulders get pinned to the canvas. Oh, wait a minute, Cedric, sunset flip, not even able to keep him down for a one count there. At least showing some signs of life. Going for that clothesline again, springs up at Omos, not even phased by it, and up picking up the smaller competitor and hangs him on the top rope. I don't know who is going to stop Omos, and there is a big boot, and Cedric is staring up at the lights of the State Farm Arena. An emphatic statement made by the Nigerian giant. Omos is full steam ahead on the road to WrestleMania. Got a feel for Cedric Alexander. He's trying to get that victory. He's trying to raise his stock again on Monday Night Raw, but tonight here at Saturday Night's main event, not the night for Cedric. Omos building momentum towards Mania. Here is your winner, Omos! At WrestleMania Saturday, it will be the Nigerian... Oh, wait a minute! The Beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar, has hit the ring! Just how he did a few weeks ago on Raw, and he laid out Omos with not one, but two F5s. Tonight, Brock Lesnar is here in Atlanta, and he's given Omos another preview of WrestleMania. These two men will meet. Oh, wait a minute, Omos, what a counter there, sending Brock Lesnar over. Well, these two men will meet officially for the first time ever on WrestleMania Saturday from bell to bell, but the action has already ensued once again tonight here in Atlanta, Georgia. Brock Lesnar was trying to make another statement, but Omos has come prepared tonight. Oh my goodness, Alabama slam on the Beast Incarnate. You want to talk about making a statement? Oh wait, there's a counter by Brock. Never count out, the alpha male. Omos grabbing a hold. Look at him ragdoll and Brock Lesnar. I don't think we've ever seen somebody move Brock around like this before. Up goes Brock and down he goes again. Lesnar arrived in State Farm Arena, but the Nigerian giant was ready. A victory over Cedric Alexander, but more importantly, a statement made. First time ever, Omos versus Lesnar on WrestleMania Saturday.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is huge news on WrestleMania Saturday. It continues to become even bigger. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, is back in WWE, and he's back on WrestleMania Saturday in Tampa Bay, Florida. We are set for a grudge match tonight in Atlanta. Falls count anywhere, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. Happy Corbin! Well, this issue between Happy Corbin and Dexter Loomis really kicked off when both men were drafted to Friday Night SmackDown back in November. They met once in Dexter Loomis's SmackDown debut. Dexter picked up the win on that night. They met in a return matchup where Happy Corbin picked up the victory over Dexter Loomis. Since then, they both cost each other matches on Friday Night SmackDown. The issues are obviously far from settled, but tonight, it all comes to a halt. Anything goes, no disqualifications, no countouts, pinfalls count anywhere in the entire building. Will Corbin be able to put Dexter Loomis behind him or will this strange and unusual competitor pick up another victory in his SmackDown career? And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis! Of course, Dexter Loomis had an Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup against the Prince Finn Balor. On that night, Happy Corbin costing Dexter the victory really escalated this whole situation even further. But tonight, as we mentioned, it all comes to a head. Matchup courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania. And it does not get any weirder than that. And we still got a main event to go. Austin Theory versus Matt Riddle. Oh, wait a minute, Dexter Loomis, you better turn around because Happy Corbin's already in the ring. We have seen Corbin do this in the past to Dexter Loomis and Corbin again trying to strike early. And he's got Dexter up and he kicks off this match with a sneak attack. There's a counter by Dexter. Spinebuster immediately goes to the cover on Happy Corbin. Corbin gets the shoulder up. We are underway with your Falls Count Anywhere match. Again, pinfalls anywhere in the building. Doesn't just have to be inside of the ring. They can be at the ringside. They can be in the crowd. They can be in the concession stands for all we care. And this match does not end until one of these men's shoulders are pinned down for three. Corbin taking it to the sky there. Very uncharacteristic of Corbin, but obviously looking to put this Dexter Loomis problem behind him for good here tonight. Saturday night's main event live premiere special. Oh, and SmackDown Joint Production, State Farm Arena, Atlanta, Georgia's been rocking. What a night it's been thus far on the road to WrestleMania. Well, thank you all for joining us. And be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe as we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. When we hit that goal, we'll be bringing channel members more exclusive Universe Mode content, including exclusive Saturday Night's main events and special house shows as well. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Happy Corbin and Dexter Loomis rolling away here at ringside. And oh no, Corbin, this can be dangerous here. Suplex, but instead turns him around and down goes Loomis nonetheless. With both these men, this issue has really curved them from the path of the road to WrestleMania. We haven't seen either of these gentlemen fighting for championship opportunities recently or any means like that. Both have taken each other's eye off the ball far too many times. And again, it all comes to a head tonight. So nice counter by Dexter Loomis off the German suplex on the outside, but there's a clothesline by Corbin and making a dose. Going for another. Well, he goes for the shoulder tackle there, and Corbin just unloading on Dexter Loomis. He looks at Dexter Loomis as a man who has, again, really curved the path of his SmackDown career over the last few months, ever since that first loss. Back in Dexter Loomis' debut on Friday Night SmackDown. Back inside the ring we go. Dexter doesn't care if this thing ends in the ring at ringside or in the streets of Atlanta. He just wants to put Corbin behind him and teach Corbin a lesson tonight. And look at Dexter Loomis moving there, taking down Baron. Into the cover. This thing could be over with here. Corbin gets the shoulder up. 
Still to come in your main event in moments, ladies and gentlemen, in 2023 Royal Rumble match winner Matt Riddle being forced to put his opportunity on the line. Well, we shouldn't say forced. He is willingly putting his opportunity on the line against Austin Theory. Theory ambushed Riddle a few weeks ago on Raw, made his presence felt that he wanted Riddle's spot for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Riddle, sometimes his heart can be a little bit more bigger than his brain, decides to put that opportunity at risk just to get a little bit of revenge on Austin Theory for that attack. And it's coming up in moments here on Saturday Night's Main Event, but Corbin using a steel chair on Dexter Loomis. We said there was no count outs, and most importantly, no disqualifications. Dexter trying to get back into this. Corbin, however, got another thing in mind as he sends Dexter right to the barricade. Corbin taking things to the extreme here tonight in A Town, and oh no. Baron going for a shot with the steel chair. Dexter able to counter it out. Corbin might have got hit with the chair on the way down a little bit there, and Corbin gets hit. Into the steel steps. Extra Loomis chasing after Baron Corbin. Where is Corbin? And Corbin's heading up the entranceway. Falls count anywhere, folks. This is perfectly legal. I don't know what Corbin's got in mind if he's trying to goat Dexter Loomis in. It looks like he was. Baron Knuckles shots to Dexter Loomis and just throwing him. It's pure concrete up there. That is not going to go well. Oh, I believe Corbin might have hit a shoulder tackle there. A little bit, a little bit out of our vantage point. I don't think these two men care. They just want to end each other for good here on the State Farm Arena. And another shot by Corbin. Another one. Unloading here on the entranceway. I believe we need a camera over there. Corbin's going into the pinfall to try to end this thing, and Dexter Loomis gets the shoulder up. Aaron Corbin and Dexter Loomis' fight continues here on Saturday night's main event. Hey, if you guys can bring it away a little bit away over here so we can see. There we go. Dexter Loomis again taking a fall. You know, we got those pa those pat or excuse me, those pads around ringside to try to lighten the fall. It doesn't make it any easier, but it certainly is a little bit better than the concrete that these guys are walking on up top the stage here. Dexter Loomis with a spine buster on said concrete. Into the cover. Corbin gets the shoulder up. And Dexter now getting back into this fight, driving a knee into what has got to be the sore back of Corbin after taking that spine buster. Anything goes here. Corbin now. Ooh, Dexter a taste of his own medicine. So what falls count anywhere is all about. Corbin better focus on the opportunity at hand. That's putting away Dexter Loomis. He wanted this matchup. This is a grudge fight that has been building for the last couple of months. Wait a minute, Dexter Loomis, oh my goodness! A side effect into a submission hold here. Loomis has got it wrenched in tight, and Corbin's got no choice but to tap out on the top of the stage. Falls count anywhere, brings things all the way up the aisle way, and the strange and unusual Dexter Loomis is the man walking away victorious. An impressive victory as Saturday night's main event from Atlanta rolls on. The next time we come your way for a live premiere, it is Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, February 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern time on both nights. It is the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And going down is the first time ever meeting between the Nigerian giant Omas and the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar has given Omas not one but two F5s, but earlier tonight, Omas left Lesnar laying. Who will be the last man standing at WrestleMania? Also earlier tonight, the invincible Ilya Dragunov earned his opportunity to fight the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, two of United Kingdom's best battled out for the Intercontinental Championship. WrestleMania Saturday continues to get bigger and bigger. What about the announcement of the American Nightmare? Cody Rhodes is on his way back to the WWE, and he returns on WrestleMania Saturday in Tampa Bay. And of course, the main event of WrestleMania Saturday coming your way from Friday Night SmackDown, the Drew McIntyre takes on the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. 
So much more still to be signed for Saturday night, but what about Sunday? Confirmed this past week on Friday Night SmackDown, Imperium's Walter battles the almighty Bobby Lashley in a first time ever collision for the United States Heavyweight Championship. Courtesy of Monday Night Raw, the WWE Women's Championship will be on the line. The winner of the Elimination Chamber match, the man Becky Lynch, battles the Empress of Tomorrow, the dominating Asuka, one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. The WWE World Tag Team titles will be defended on WrestleMania Sunday. DIY puts the gold up against WrestleMania Saturday's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic 2023 tournament winners. Who's it gonna be? And ladies and gentlemen, just signed as of tonight, a major tag team grudge match on WrestleMania Sunday. Old rivals AJ Styles and Edge puts their differences aside to battle it out with the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn show 2v2. And the main event of WrestleMania Sunday is in question. The WWE Championship will be on the line. The Viper will defend the gold, but who will Randy Orton defend against? Will it be the man on your screen, the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle? Or will it be the man that Matt Riddle is about to contest against in moments right here in your Saturday night's main event? And in front of his hometown crowd all day, Austin Theory wants to take away the opportunity of lifetime for Matt Riddle and wants to punch his ticket to the main event of WrestleMania. It's Theory versus Riddle and all the stakes are on the line. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. Austin Theory! It was a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw that Austin Theory ambushed the Royal Rumble match winner Matt Riddle. All in doing so was with the purpose of trying to secure Matt Riddle's WWE Championship match at WrestleMania. We mentioned earlier tonight Matt Riddle's heart may just be a little bit bigger than his brain and had the guts to put his WrestleMania main event on the line, all with the chance just to get a little bit of retribution over Austin Theory after that ambush as Austin Theory played his cards right in front of a hometown Atlanta crowd. Does he got Matt Riddle exactly where he wants him? Is Riddle gonna come out too fire, too, too much fire, too much adrenaline, full steam ahead, and will Austin Theory be able to capitalize on the emotion to punch his ticket to the main event of WrestleMania Sunday? We're gonna find out in moments here on Saturday night's main event. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. Matt Riddle was the final man standing in the 30-man Royal Rumble match back on January the 1st, ultimately eliminating Rob Van Dam in the final two. Matt Riddle's been waiting to get his hands on the WWE Champion Randy Orton since RK, Blow, RK Bro excuse me, imploded for good back in August at Extreme Rules. Riddle laid out Randy Orton following his WWE Championship defense at Elimination Chamber, but it was the next night on Raw where these issues with Austin Theory arose from the ashes. So with Riddle's opportunity in the main event of WrestleMania on the line, who is going to challenge the WWE Champion Randy Orton? Will it be Riddle, or has Austin Theory got Riddle right where he wants him? But there's Riddle coming out, full steam ahead, a knee off the bell. Trying to get this thing done early, but Austin Theory gets the shoulder up. Theory has been trying to find his way to WrestleMania and trying to find his way back to being the WWE Champion. He held the championship for just over a month between August 7th and September the 10th. And ever since then, after he was done battling a feud with John Cena, Theory has been trying to get back to the WWE Championship picture. He went one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton back on December the 7th at Raw Homecoming. Came up short to Orton on that night. Theory came up short in the Royal Rumble matchup. Remember, Theory actually came up short to Big E in a matchup on Monday Night Raw as well, but Theory may have bit off exactly where he wanted to in Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle wants the op opportunity to put, get that retribution over all day, Austin Theory. Austin Theory gets the opportunity he wants. Theory working over Matt Riddle in the back now. 
Riddle's got to make sure his emotions stay intact tonight. Now Riddle. Spine bustered Austin Theory. Riddle's got to be motivated tonight, not only to get the retribution over Theory, but to secure his matchup once and for all with Randy Orton, a match he has been waiting on since August the 7th of last year at Extreme Rules when Randy Orton used a sledgehammer on the original bro to put the final nail in the coffin of RK Bro. To the outside, this main event goes. Riddle missing off the axe hammer. Austin Theory to capitalize and a fall away slam on the outside of the ring. Austin Theory wants the WWE Championship for the second time in his young career, and he very well may have the opportunity to take away Riddle's moment if he can secure the victory tonight and go on to WrestleMania. WrestleMania both nights shaping up to be incredible events. Still more matches to be added. WrestleMania Sunday, the night the WWE Championship match will go down. And what about the tag team grudge match that was signed earlier tonight? All the issues between the rated R superstar Edge Along with AJ Styles in his corner with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, it's all going to come to a head. A massive tag team matchup coming up at WrestleMania. Riddle heading to the second rope here. And boom, a nice Broton on Theory. And into the cover again. To main event Mania, and Theory gets the shoulder up. Been talking about WrestleMania all night long. It's a very WrestleMania implication kind of night. Ilya Dragunov punching his ticket to meet Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Championship on WrestleMania Saturday. Omos and Brock Lesnar coming to blows earlier this evening. They will meet for the first time ever on WrestleMania Saturday. Also tonight, we just saw Dexter Loomis finally ending that several month rivalry with Happy Corbin and Falls Count Anywhere. Now all roads lead to this epic main event with high implications that we are witnessing right now. Riddle whipping Theory off into the corner. Goes for a splash there. Possibly a forearm or some sorts, but Theory getting out of the way. And a momentum goes to the former WWE champion, the man wrestling a matchup in his hometown right now. Not really getting that hometown reception, though. I don't think a lot of people like that egotistical attitude of the young man, Austin Theory. The now of the WWE, as he calls himself. Nonetheless, into the cover, trying to get that second bout with Randy Orton. The WWE Championship, that is, but Riddle wants to reignite the old rivalry. Unfinished business there. Trying to stack Theory up, but not just yet. High implications, high rewards on this main event. Riddle going back into the cover. A lot of near falls in this matchup so far. With WrestleMania only 17 days away from WrestleMania Saturday, 18 days away from WrestleMania Sunday, neither one of these men want to risk injury so close to possibly competing for the WWE Championship. Theory sending Riddle into the corner. That's where Austin Theory gets dangerous, man. Again, whipping Riddle off. Oh no, I think we know what's coming. Clothesline, Austin Theory looking to go. Blockbuster on Matt Riddle. Into the cover to go to WrestleMania. Not just yet as Riddle gets the shoulder up. Austin Theory almost had this match won, almost secured the number one contendership for the WWE title. But there's Matt Riddle. Don't keep your eyes off this man. My goodness. Half Nelson suplex there on Austin Theory. Theory went for a ride of a lifetime. And the original bro, the Royal Rumble match winner, is back in this fight. And now unloading on Theory with those signature kicks in the corner. Riddle, one of the hardest hitters in World Wrestling Entertainment. And now has taken the fight to Theory one step at a time in the corner of the ring. The bro hits the corner again and falls over the senton. Proton, if you will. Theory's down as we get to the later rounds of this matchup. Riddle going for a floating bro from the top rope. And he hit it flush. And that may do it. Austin Theory gets the shoulder up and your main event rolls on. Great series of offense by the Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle. Roton followed up with a floating bro, but not enough to keep the former WWE champion down. Riddle's got to keep the offense going. There's a counter by Theory. Kick to the gut. Austin Theory making a dose with the kicks. Oh, no. Going for that bozo-looking muster there. Riddle's down and out. ATL gets 
gets the signature in the hometown, but Riddle gets the shoulder up again. Austin Theory that close to taking away Riddle's WrestleMania moment. I don't know, Austin Theory might be getting in his own head after that. He threw two of his best shots at the Royal Rumble match winner, but Matt Riddle's fighting like there's no tomorrow. Riddle doesn't want anything taking away the opportunity that he has waited for since August 7th of last year, and that's to get his hands on Randy Orton once again. And then on top of that, main event WrestleMania for the richest prize in the industry, the WWE Championship. Oh no, go for the exploder with Theory with the counter. That was a big time counter. Oh wait, there, another counter by Riddle. Back and forth we go here. We are in deep waters in this matchup. I don't know how much more these two men got left in the tank. They gotta be near an E. Theory, counter again. Backbreaker to Matt Riddle and the bro goes down. Now Theory going to the back. Going, bit of a submission hold here, but Riddle's foot underneath the bottom rope. Theory not watching his ring awareness. However, a lot of strength in that young man. Pump handle slam. Riddle is down and out, and he's got to get back into this match now or never. Theory has hit a lot of big time maneuvers from bell to bell so far. And he may have just knocked Riddle's lights out for good here in the ATL, but Riddle gets the shoulder up again. Riddle still fighting, and he hits that knee that he opened the matchup with. Theory, however, quick to get his wits about him. Any means necessary to survive here. Riddle with another kick. Theory, up. back and forth we go with the momentum, and again, Austin Theory cutting off the bro. The self-proclaimed now of WWE wants his WrestleMania moment, and he wants it in the main event versus the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, a man who has been dominant Oh no, and Theory crashes and burns off the crossbody. That may be a big time rookie mistake out of the former WWE Champion taking things in the air like that. Crashing and burning on the outside. Riddle, however, on the apron, ax hammer to Theory. We talked about it briefly, but Randy Orton, who won the WWE Championship back in November at Survivor Series, but nothing short of dominant even before winning the WWE title, really ever since he kicked Matt Riddle to the curb. Riddle wants to bring that WWE Championship dominance to an ultimate demise at WrestleMania, but he's got to get through Theory right now. And he's looking good, at least for the moment, Theory was on spaghetti legs. Riddle's got him up, and he's looking to drive Theory's spine dead through the canvas. Smart to go right into the cover. And Matt Riddle retains his WrestleMania main event privilege. Well, that was one hell of a fight. State Farm Arena, Austin Theory's hometown of Atlanta, does not get the hometown boy. And quite frankly, I don't think they're complaining. Austin Theory coming up short tonight. The Royal Rumble match winner secures his spot in the main event of WrestleMania once and for all. What a main event. Here is your winner, Riddle. The original bro will meet the Apex Predator once and for all. A rivalry that's been brewing since August the 7th. They will meet yet again for the WWE Champion. Wait a minute. Speaking of the WWE Champion, Randy Orton has hit the ring and he's ambushing Matt Riddle. You remember back at Elimination Chamber when Riddle attacked Randy Orton after his WWE Championship defense versus Rob Van Dam. Orton's getting a measure of retribution right now. Oh no, RKO to his WrestleMania opponent. Randy Orton came to Atlanta tonight to send a message to whoever was going to be his WrestleMania rival. Oh no, not another RKO to the Royal Rumble match winner. Oh man, Riddle's been busted wide open. Riddle has been busted open after all the offense from Austin Theory and double RKOs. Riddle is rocking a crimson mask. And you gotta be kidding me, Orton's looking to make an emphatic statement tonight. Not one, not two, but three RKOs by the WWE Champion, and the beatdown continues. Randy Orton defends the WWE Championship versus Matt Riddle on WrestleMania Sunday night. Thank you for joining us here on Saturday night's main event.
Good night, everybody, from Atlanta. Hey, so when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise with the hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.